Let's turn back on that construction line and let's delete a bunch of stuff out of this. We're going to complicate things just a little bit more. So we'll delete all of our uh, lines that we've created. And uh, now we will go and let's say that we have a point on this thing. And we will draw a, a little X. I probably should create a new layer. Uh, we'll call this layer X. And we'll make it cyan. Also make it big. So you can see it. And let's say that we wanted to draw the uh, get to the right point here. We wanted to draw a line perpendicular to it, but we wanted to have it right about here. I think I just screwed up. So let's go ahead now and we'll do it again. Okay, right there where that intersection is, I want to draw a line perpendicular to this thing. Okay, the easy method, again, we would do uh, lines orthogonal. And we go to the intersection, and I need to go to final layer. Base entity right there and I now have my perpendicular line right there at, at that point but we're not going to do it that way <laughs> we're going to do it the manual way so we will go ahead exit that we will use construction line and the first thing we're going to have to do is draw a circle and if we were doing this by manual, we wouldn't necessarily have to draw the whole circle. Again, I'm centering it on the intersection. And now I go free position. I make it uh, some distance away, whatever, whatever is convenient. And if I was doing this with a hand compass, I might only just draw just that part of the arc and that part over there. I don't need to draw the complete circle. The circle is more convenient on this. Okay, now I want to do a circle again. And I want to do it at intersection. I want to do it here. And uh, I'm going to make it bigger than half. So we'll make it somewhere over in here. I'm going to do, we'll copy the circle. Again, all I would be doing is using my compass and moving it to the new position. And we're going to copy it from the intersection to this intersection. Keep the original. I'm going to deselect it. Control K. And now I'm going to go to final. And I can draw my line. And actually, I only really have to draw the line if I if this was at the edge of the sheet, piece of sheet metal, let's say. So I couldn't draw a complete circle uh, to show both ends. All I would have to do is I have to go from my first intersection to the direction that I'm uh, going. And I now have a perfect right angle right there. A, uh, orthogonal line, if you want to say it that way, perpendicular line, whatever term turns you on. And now I will deselect all my circles, so we'll unmess it. See if I can select by layer. I think this is it, select layer. And we now have a line that's perpendicular to our baseline, and it's starts at the intersection of that and our random point. This might be our random point right here. Might be a little dot or an X or whatever we were using to do it. I used a line because that was a convenient way of marking it. All right, that's a couple of uh, engineering geometry. We will do, in the next one, we'll do, deal with some angles, bisecting angles. Uh, 
hope this was useful and helpful, and I guarantee that we will get to some pretty quickly that are even more useful and helpful. Appreciate you watching. This is Gary Fox. It's great and make.